if it's okay with you, can we start with the the very strong Black Lives Matter video that all the Bournemouth players have have shared? Is it is it true that that was your idea and, and you saw it through? Who told you that? My sources. Who's your source? <laughs> Are you being given credit you shouldn't have been given? No, that was... I don't like to take credit. I don't think... I honestly don't think you should help people or help people or try and help people and then hold up your hand and say, I help them. I hate that kind of stuff, really. But yeah, I initiated it and I wrote it down and I took the, the initiative to, to do something. I just felt like we, we'd done a lot for the NHS and, and went under the pandemic, but I didn't really see much or hear much about Black Lives Matter until five days ago from the Premier League. And I just felt us as a club, uh, we have loads of black players as well. Uh, and even though we're not the biggest club with the biggest fan base, our voice will be heard. And uh, if, it, if it reaches 10 people or 20 people or 1,000 people, at least it reaches some people. And uh, at least we show that we're against it or racism. Um, and I just felt like we should have said something as a team, uh, as, as individuals as well, uh, uh, and as a club, uh, and something I felt powerful for. And uh, I'm glad we did it. And, but of course, I, I knew it wouldn't get the attention that, uh, for example, if United or City did it, uh, but at least we've done it for the people who follow us and, and, and it showed a good team team spirit that we're all in this together against racism. Well, I hope it does get a very big audience because I, I genuinely think it's a really powerful, very well-written message, brilliantly produced as well. I mean, look, I'm speaking obviously as a, a white heterosexual man, never had any sort of significant prejudice against me of, of any kind. But there yeah. were two bits that particularly resonated with me. There was a bit where uh, I've been silent for too long and I understand, I will never understand, but I stand with you. I thought... That's the most powerful two sentences in that, in the whole thing. That so is, where like, did they come from? Did they, you know, did they, did that all no, come so, in one sitting or...? No, I've read a lot. Obviously, I've been back here for three weeks now and all you do after training is go home. Uh, the sun was was a blast in the first two weeks I was home and I enjoyed the beach and had a little walk on the beach but the weather's been bad the last 10 days so uh, you sit home and you read a lot get newspapers Instagram Twitter I don't have Twitter but you still read it sometimes and um, I just one of my one of my um, Norwegian friends he he's white and he put up uh, put up on Instagram um, some of that um, and when I read it I actually felt like he's standing beside me as in against racism and he's white and I played with him for national team a, a few times and he's a, he's a top lad nice guy good football player and, um, and when I then spoke to the lads and said listen lads I'm a bit disappointed that no one's really touched up on this Black Lives Matter. I've not heard anything. We've been back a week. I think we should do something. And then the ball started rolling and everyone was engaged. And it was like, how are we going to do it? Are we going to take a picture? I was like, I, and I think it was, um, um, I can't remember who said it, but we then said, I think a picture is, a picture is a, is a message, but I think a video would be more powerful. And Adam Smith sent me a, a video of of uh, NFL players doing similar thing on their on their phones and like a, 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 a clipped video with music in the background. And I thought, and I just clocked the. I just remembered that the, I've been silent for too long. Uh, speech that I've read that my teammate had on his uh, put up on his Instagram, and I thought, I thought it should it should start with that, and then. I just wrote like powerful things that I've seen over Instagram in the past since George Floyd 
sadly part, uh, died. Uh, and I just put it together and I just felt like um, this will be a good good message from, from us as a club and I think we did we did our, we did our part and, and, and we, we, we supported and and helped the NHS with donations with, with, with shirts with everything when when and and that is still a problem the, the, the COVID-19 but we can't forget what's happened here as well and if you say help two people, if I can help five people, then I'll help five. Uh, but I think think we, we, it, it, it was it got through well, and the team ha- helped me a lot with the with the with the video, the camera, um, the, the even the music with Tupac Changes song, which is a powerful song. Uh, those that in the background. So no, I'm, I'm I was happy to that as as a team we could do something. Uh, together which have, ha, hasn't got anything to do with sport but actually send the message that we're all together against racism yeah good on you Who, who's the Norwegian teammate do you mind telling us that uh Ewing Berge Joe Ewing Berge he used to play for Cardiff he played oh, there okay yeah and just finally on this subject it feels to me like and maybe it's naive that I'm just hoping and optimistic that this is actually a potentially a very significant moment that in 10 years time, maybe we'll look back at this and think seeing all the demonstrations around the world and how seemingly very different people have come together to say, look, this has to stop. It feels like this might be a big moment from your point of view. Do you see it the same? How do you see this moment? Nothing would make me happier than you being right right now, to be honest. Nothing. Do I hope? Yeah. Do I believe racism will be gone in 10 years? No. I, I sadly think he'll still be here. Will it, will it improve? Will it be less? Will people still treat people the same way, no matter if they're black, white, yellow? I, I don't know. But I really hope racism slowly would fade away. One thing I am very proud of and, and something that is that this generation do not mess about. We got a voice and we will stand up against racism where the older generation did, didn't have the, the, what can you say, the, I wouldn't say courage, but they didn't have that fight to stand up. They were scared and they didn't have, but, if you see the, the marches in every single country, even Norway, in, 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 in America, in London, it's powerful. And to be honest with you, <laughs> the most aggressive people I've seen, as in shouting and in videos on Instagram, has been white. And they've really like gone together and, and, and fought with, with us, the black people. But it's not white against black. Is white black against racism? That that's what it is, and that makes me puts a smile on my face when I see see a white man holding up justice for all and marching in in the city with other black men and showing that racism is his own. Don't compare white and racist. Racist against white and black. <laughs>